I'll just read the questions and answer in a very summarized way. I read three, lakini ni answer in a very summarized way. Kwa sababu they are related and if you are listening to Dr. many answers are in what she has just said, but now I'll bring the psycho spiritual dimension. When dating a man who has issues that need counseling, that is issues to do with childhood and upbringing, what is the lady supposed to do when the man keeps saying he will initiate counseling session, but he does not? The second question is, do we have Christian who are narcissists? Kuna other details, but let me go to the third question. What advice would you give to someone who is married to a narcissist? Can we attend counseling? What if the husband is not willing to attend mentor talk or being cancelled? The reason I've read those three questions because I want to answer them by challenging all of us. With Matthew 7 verses 3 when Jesus says that we are quick to see aspects that in someone else's eyes, but we don't see the log that is in our own eyes. One, you'll see this person have already summarized their spouse, they have childhood issues, and maybe you've never gone to counseling, that's a perception. Another one have talked about narcissism, which is a word that have been used in the society when many people are avoiding taking personal responsibility in a relationship to blame the other person. What am I saying? Narcissism is a psychological disorder but you cannot just summarize or call anybody a narcissist by looking at them with your eyes. Sour, sour. And this has become a distress. It has become a pain in relationships. But personally, when you come to counseling and you are using the blame game, first, you have to look at yourself. Take personal responsibility fully. Now you can be able to initiate the next step. And when the other partner is not willing to go for counseling, truthfully, it takes two to tangle. You cannot force anybody into counseling. And that's where our spirituality comes in. Quote, you're not able to change. Do your part. Leave the rest to God. Thank you.